Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your tarot forecast for the month of December. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. Okay, Gemini. So we're going to look at what's going on with you for the month of December. This is a general reading, but we're going to take whatever comes out here. So it could be about love. It could be about friends, family, social. It could be about work and career, uh, health. I mean, it could be anything. So we're just going to take whatever comes out. So see what we got for you. So we're going to look at your energy, um, how you're feeling at this time, what's going on around you, your actual situation, advice for your situation, and then possible outcome clarified with all um, tarot and oracles. So if you click down the title, then there's probably something in here for you. So just take what resonates, throw away the rest. Um, I could pick up past, present, or future energies, or maybe even uh, pick up something on something going on with somebody around you that may be affecting you. Um, so please keep that in mind also. Okay, so Gemini, hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy December. This reading is good for whenever you see this, tell whenever. So this will be out in the month of November, but it is for December. So... Um, so take it how it resonates. All right, Gemini. Let's see. We could get a person. A person. Okay. We could get <laughs> an element, planet, or a uh, sign. So whatever comes out here, if you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. All right, Gemini. What do we have for Gemini for December or at this time? So we got Neptune. So Neptune is Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. So you could be dealing with the Pisces. You could have Pisces in your chart or know somebody who has Pisces in their chart also. But Neptune is the energy of um, imagination, compassion, psychic experiences, and balancing, like emotional balancing. Could be physical balancing things out, that kind of energy. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. All right, so let's get an opening message for you, Gemini, at this time. What is the opening message for Gemini at this time? What is the opening message for Gemini? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is the opening message for Gemini? Huh, I just got this for Pisces. So you definitely could be dealing with the Pisces here. But we have prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. So we have another sign there. Doesn't have to be though, but Taurus season is um, the end of April into May. So some kind of prosperity could be coming to you um, very soon with the new moon in Taurus. All right, so let's see. Let's get um, what your energy is like. So we have here, it's time to release all negativity, full moon in Scorpio. So we are in Scorpio right now, and it's almost done because Sag will be starting in a few days. So, but the message here is to, it's time to release negativity. So whatever you're feeling negative about, if it's about yourself, it's, or if it's about a situation, or if it's about your work, friends, family, um, whatever here, it's time to release that energy or whatever negative energy you hold against somebody, resentment or a situation, whatever here, it's time to release something. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. We have emotions are running high, super moon. So you could be very emotional time right now for you for some reason. Um, some reason your emotions could be all over the place here. Oh, could be negative emotions, uh, like anger, resentment, uh, that kind of energy. And it's time to release that and let that go. It could be holding you back. When you're in the negative space, um, you know, the universe will hold you back from moving forward because they know you're not ready. So that could be a message for somebody. All right, so why is... Gemini in this energy of needing to release negativity. So we have the Six of Wands and we have the Seven of Shields. So there's some kind of success here that you want moving forward. There's some sort of victory that you want. Um, but I feel it could be in your work and career because the Seven of Pentacles is about career, finance, uh, material, monetary. 
but it's patiently waiting. So you could be waiting on something here, and it could have to do with your career or finances. It's like you want the success, like you feel like you deserve it. It could be a promotion. It could be just getting another job or something like that. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're all over the place. So, yeah, so I think you're patiently waiting on this success victory that you think you deserve, that you want. You know, six of wands can also speak of an offer. So I think you're patiently waiting or trying to be patient and waiting some kind of offer to come in. Could be a job. But if you're having negative feelings about it, like if you're having doubts and fears, like, well, I'm just not going to get it, you know, that energy is going to hold you back. So the more you stay positive, stay in a high vibration and be positive, that energy will come back to you. All right. So let's get a couple more to clarify this energy. The Gemini. That's too many. Take these right here. So we have, yeah, <laughs> wow. Basically what I just said. So Capricorn with the devil energy here, and we have the seven of swords. So the shadow here is about, you know, fear. Um, negative, negative energy, toxic energy, fear. It could also be about obsessions, addictions, um, just that negative energy. And here's the seven of swords. It's like kind of deceitful, sneaky kind of energy. So... And sometimes the energy that you can't trust. I feel like you're not trusting yourself. You're not trusting the situation. You're not trusting that this could come in for, to you, for you, if you let this um, negative energy go. I feel like you, you hold a lot of, you could be somebody who's very pessimistic. And that's not helping. That's not helping anything. You need to let that energy go, kind of like... Let it go. Just run away, run away from it because it's not helping you. That negative energy is not helping you. All right. So, but you do have prosperity lies ahead. So I feel like as soon as you let go of negative energy, negative ways of thinking, all that toxic energy, you know, this offer probably will come into you. But the universe is holding everything back probably for you because you're in that negative energy. So let's get your <laughs> nine of swords. Yes, yeah, stress, anxiety, worry. That's your energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yes, yeah, stressing about this worry, fear. Like I said, fear, anxiety, nervous energy. Could be, you know, not sleeping at night. <laughs> and as I said that, here's justice. So justice is right in the middle here. So there will be communication. There will be truth, honesty. If things will balance out strength you just need to have strength here this is leo energy it doesn't have to be but this is you know having courage strength bravery that inner strength to persevere on to keep fighting on having that willpower endurance i think you need to stop stressing i think you're stressing worrying about this you know like feeling like you know this is totally meant for me but I feel like you're in an energy of like it's an injustice because it's not coming um, yet. But you get two majors here. So I think it will come in as soon as you clear your mind and you rid yourself, balance yourself. Because you've got the nine of swords and you've got the strength. So you can overcome this toxic, negative, stress, fear, worry energy and balance yourself out. Because justice will serve here with justice in the middle. Okay, and I do believe strength overcomes the devil, so you can overcome this. So let's get a couple more to clarify here. Eight of Wands, so here's the communication coming in. Could be the offer coming in, something you feel very passionate about. There's that communication coming in. Let's get one more to clarify. The King of Cups energy here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So that's that water energy. So, you know, you could be waiting on an offer from a water sign. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. It could be um, it could be somebody you, you want to partner up with and you're waiting for them to choose you. It could be, you know, maybe the person that you're waiting to hear from. 
with this offer it could be a water sign if you even know like who they are and what their chart is um but you know king king or queen of cups doesn't matter here um you know that is about love and emotions um this is telling you also to have that self-worth value compassion loving energy between the strength and the king of cups you know overcoming that toxic negative energy of the devil energy there and this nine of swords and coming from a peace place of peace harmony truth love compassion self-worth self-love having that strength strength all right so okay so let's let's get your advice your advice in this gemini the two of swords yeah being indecisive here that's your energy libra gemini aquarius so yeah you're you're not sure like are they going to choose me are they going to pick me are they you know or you're needing to make some kind of choice here and you're just unable to make it for some reason. Nine of Wands. So this is telling you to keep fighting on, persevering on, having that strength here with the strength card, not to give up in your situation, whatever it is for you. That you may have to make a decision you don't want to make, but you can do it with the Nine of Wands energy, even though you feel battered, bruised, and the wounded warrior. Maybe a decision you have to make anyway, and you do have the strength to make it. You do have self that value, worth, and love. You need to see that. Or you could have a water sign around you, like I said. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You may have to travel for this. Maybe, you know, what you want to do here, you may have to travel. Um, or there'll be traveling involved, involved in this. Could be over water. Okay, let's get a couple more. Yeah, so here's the offer coming in with the Page of Pentacles, but there's confusion around it here. So, yeah, you're very confused about this offer. Will I get this offer? Will this offer come into me? So, you got a seven here, you seven here. So, sevens are a very divinely guided number. So, I think this is something that will come into you, but you're so confused, you're stressed, you're worried um, about this offer, about it coming in. So I think your advice is to, you know, get over this Two of Swords energy. And just keep going on, fighting on. Because I do see the offer coming in here. You know, not being so confused. Just do you. Just keep going on. Stay in a positive energy. And if there's any decisions that you need to make, um, you, you may have to make them, whether you like it or not, whatever your situation is. So uh, it seems very like nonspecific, but you know, that can happen with tarot as this is for lots of people watching. So let's see possible outcome here. So the fool, nice. So this is taking a leap of faith, resetting, restarting at zero. Aquarius energy here doesn't have to be. And there's the sun behind you. So happiness and joy, uh, Taking that leap of faith and jumping right in and having a brand new start. And trusting everything will be fine. And there's the horse again here. We had the horse there. So there will be communication coming in here. But you need to get out of this confused energy and um, worried about, you know, is this going to come in? Are they going to pick, choose me or whatever here? You can fight for this. And the offer will come in here with the Page of Pentacles. And you will have this leap of faith, new start. Prosperity lies ahead. All right, so let's get a couple more. Yeah, so, wow. So you got the magician. So it's manifesting this brand new beginning. One, a brand new beginning. So you're manifesting this. You know, stay in that manifesting energy of, you know, being positive, of being uh, clear thinking, clear mind, a loving, compassionate place. Um being very passionate about it also truth clarity manifesting brand new beginning here and leaving all this negative energy behind and going into a much better place with the six of swords peace harmony balance leaving the turbulent waters behind and going into a more calm full peaceful place again with this positive movement forward the six of swords energy and that's your energy 
And the magician, I believe, is Gemini in Virgo. We've got Aquarius. We basically have all the signs here. So, all right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Eight of Swords. Yeah, mental entrapment. <laughs> Stuck in your own head with this negative thinking. Stop. <laughs> king of shields so you will have that prosperity you will be abundant successful stand on your own two feet you won't have to worry you'll have all this abundance this is earth energy uh virgo taurus capricorn doesn't have to be or there could be an earth sign around you in some way and then you have the five of swords energy here so this is kind of like getting ahead at all costs and you don't know how you, you don't care how you do it kind of an ego kind of energy um, so you may be just stuck in your ego with all that fear and negative thinking. Um, don't do anything here out of sorts or that's negative or full of ego just to try to get ahead because here's a brand new passionate beginning for you, divinely guided for you with the growth and abundance right here. And this is a new project, endeavor, uh, job opportunity, idea. So here is that new beginning for you. Three of Wands, yeah, you're waiting, waiting for it. Again, because we have the Seven of Pentacles energy over there. It's about patiently waiting. So, yeah, you you see it in the distance. You know, you're like, I know it's mine, but I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for that ship to come in so I can jump on board and have that new leap of faith. Yep. For your new beginning here. Don't do anything out of ego. You will have stability moving forward, or you could have our side around you. And get out of your head here with the Eight of Swords. It's of your own doing, and you can release that energy at any time. Ooh, okay, Gemini. So I'm going to pull a few more oracles here. So, Gemini, if you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, please hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. I do a tarot forecast, which could be about anything. I do a love connection reading. I do a singles reading, who's coming towards you. And I also do spirit messages, what you need to know at this time from spirit. So if you're interested in those four readings, please do hit the bell. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. And check the description box below. Tons of stuff down there, how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff down there. And thank you to everybody who supported the channel. In whichever way you support it, thank you, thank you. I truly appreciate it. Couldn't do it without you. And this channel wouldn't grow and flourish without you. So all the support you give it, um, the more the messages will get out to the people that need to hear them. And thank you so much. Okay, so Gemini, let's get some extra messages for you. Personal growth, exactly. Seven, divinely guided energy. So yeah, you can you can have this personal growth here. And I feel like this abundance will be coming into you. You'll, you will grow, you will expand. Maybe you'll be learning something new. Um, you'll have, find this inner strengthening inside of you, which never knew you had. You know, overcoming fear, stress, anxiety, worry, this negative toxic energy. Be um, manifesting here with purple, this new beginning for yourself. A lot of personal growth coming up for you. Okay, so what else? What else do we have for Gemini? What else do we have for Gemini here? Love. So again, being in a loving, compassionate, self-worth, self-love, I feel like you may not be in that energy of having self-worth and self-love. And there's six with, again, with harmony, peace, and balance. So you need to find your harmony, your peace, your balance, your self-worth, love kind of energy as we have the king of cups here so again telling you to be in that energy you need to be more in that energy instead of this negative toxic energy so we get one more you, gemini teaching and learning so 57 here which is 12 which is three which is about working together teamwork collaboration people coming together celebrating Teaching and learning. So you could be teaching and learning. Some of you could be a teacher. Um, could be learning something again with the purple, manifesting. Could be learning new things. And we have abundance. Again with the abundance and prosperity here, 88. So 8 is all about, you know, um, travel, movement, action. 
So, you know, all that energy is coming in for you. I think you just need to, like this card says here, it's time to release negativity to get your abundance here, uh, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, uh, good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.